Hello, every pony, and welcome to my first reading of a pony fanfic. My first reading today will be Party of None, as requested by Anonymous User. And from what I can tell, it is a fanfic of Pinkie Pie's party episode. And according to Equestria Daily, it's grimdark slash horror, or a little bit of both, I don't know. So, here we go. The other ponies finally had Pinkie Pie's surprise birthday party all set up in Applejack's barn. After they got rid of Pinkie so they could finish setting up the decorations, they hadn't seen her for the rest of the day. This was odd, considering how desperately Pinkie wanted to know what was going on around Ponyville. Normally, she wouldn't give up quite that easily. Rainbow Dash got picked to go find Pinkie, since she was by far the fastest of the ponies. Rainbow Dash decided to start at the most likely place to find Pinkie Pie, her room. She knocked on the door, and it swung open, revealing a disturbing sight. She had a small party set up at the table, and seated at the table with her were her guests of honor. A pile of rocks, a bag of flour, a ball of lint, and a bucket of turnips. Normally, anywhere you found Pinkie Pie was always bright, energetic, and cheery. Instead, Rainbow Dash couldn't help but pick up a thoroughly creepy vibe from the scene. Even Pinkie herself looked very much out of sorts. Her usually perky, curly mane and tail hung flat, drooping down listlessly. Rainbow Dash quietly walked inside. Hey there, Pinkie Pie. Sorry about earlier, but I had some place to be. You know how it goes, right? Rainbow Dash asked with a nervous chuckle. Pinkie Pie glared at her. Oh, I know how it goes, all right. She muttered, oh, she muttered angrily through clenched teeth. Uh, right. Say, you should come on down to Sweet Apple Acres with me, Rainbow Dash said, abruptly changing the subject. No thanks, I'm having a party here with my real friends, she added bitterly. Isn't that right, Madame Lefleur? she asked, turning a face of black flower. Oui, Madame, that is correct, Ma Pinkie Pie said in an awful impression of Fluttershy's voice, not even trying to hide the fact that she was pretending to make an inanimate object speak. Rainbow Dash stared incredi incredulously. Uh, Pinkie Pie, she started, but was interrupted as Gummy bounced on by on top of a balloon, startling her. Listen, Rainbow Dash said as she walked towards Pinkie Pie, what do you say we get out of Creepy Town here and head over to Applejack's? Rainbow Dash was cut off by the stool holding Mr. Turnip, the bucket of turnips being slid over to block her path. She's not going anywhere. Pinkie Pie said in a different voice, this one in a forced southern accent to imitate Applejack. She ran back to the other side of the table where she was standing before. That's right, she said in her normal voice. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonderful time right here. I really think you should come with me, Rainbow Dash said insistently, walking forward once again. This time, the stool holding Rocky, a pile of rocks, was slid in Rainbow Dash's path. You heard the lady. She ain't going nowhere, chump, said Pinky, mimicking Rainbow Dash's own voice. I'm getting these voices terribly wrong. Who are you calling a chump, chump? Rainbow Dash retorted angrily. She forcibly shoved Rocky back, causing it to break apart and tumble onto the floor. Pinky looked shocked at first, but then gave Rainbow Dash an angry leer. She ran over to Dust Clump. She had named Sir Lint Lincelot and shook its stool. <gasps> My darling, that pony ruffian knocked pony over, said Pinky, mimicking Rarity's voice. She quickly switched over to Mr. Turnip across the table. Golly, she's so ungrateful, she didn't even try the cake. Pinky finally popped up behind the table, across from Rainbow Dash. Yeah, Dash, you didn't even try the cake, yelled Pinky in her own voice. Rainbow Dash looked around nervously at Pinky's friends and backed away slowly, her wings cautiously unfurling. Uh, yeah, cake, muttered Rainbow Dash. Really, I think we should go now, Pinky. We've got a surprise for you out at Sweet Apple Acres, she said as she nodded over towards the door with a worried smile. An angry, distressed Pinky was desperately trying to get Rocky back together. All caps twitch! Pinky Pie's face twitched noticeably, contorting briefly with insanity and a completely blank, far-off look, complete with small pupils and huge irises washed over her face. 
Rainbow Dash suddenly found herself grabbed from across the room and planted squarely onto the stool where Rocky was originally sitting. She was, she was used to Pinkie Pie's randomness, but everything was happening too fast. Pinkie grabbed and squeezed Rainbow Dash's cheeks in a cartoonish fashion as she spoke with the playfully demented tone of voice. Would you like some cake, Rocky? Pinkie asked no one in particular. Why, yes, Pinkie, she answered herself in the Rocky voice. I see the voices. I would like some cake! She glared at Rainbow Dash and switched back to her own voice, a rising crescendo of anger. I would like some cake! Rainbow Dash was too confused by Pinkie's randomness to fight back. She never realized Pinkie might have been more off the deep end than she anticipated, until... Thump! Rainbow Dash was clocked in the noggin by a slice of cake, with a large piece of Rocky inside. The room swam, her vision blurred, and she fell onto the ground. Little gray, wall-eyed Pegasus ponies flew around her head, and one last thought went through her mind before her eyes closed and her consciousness slipped away. I've got to get out of here! It's soon! yelled Pinkie Pie as she shoved her face up against Rainbow Dash's. You said soon, and now it's soon! Rainbow Dash's eyes fluttered open as she regained consciousness. Her vision was still blurry, but the field of pink that took up most of her vision was quite blatantly pinky. Dash could smell the sugary smell of sweets wafted through the air, followed by the overwhelming taste of caramel from the candy apple used to gag her. She blinked. And as things started to come back into focus, she could make out things just past Pinky. Dash could see candy-making ingredients on large machines designed for the making of confections. She realized it had to be a candy factory somewhere, or at, or near, Sugar Cube Corner. Memories of what transpired not long ago suddenly played back in Rainbow Dash's mind. She tried to struggle free, but found her wings and forelegs were tied against her body with colorful party streamers. Even though they were made from simple, thin tissue paper, there were so many layers that it made it a quite effective rope. Rainbow Dash's feet dangled helplessly a few feet from the ground. She had been hung from the ceiling with no leverage. Rainbow Dash was trapped for the time being. Rainbow Dash tried to call for help, but found that the sticky caramel apple shoved into her mouth quite easily prevented that. The apple was too large for Rainbow Dash to spit out or bite into. So far for the moment, it wasn't going anywhere. Is this some kind of crazy pinky prank? She wondered silently to herself. If it was, it certainly wasn't very funny at all. Pinky popped out of view suddenly before popping back into Rainbow Dash's sight from above. It's time for a party! Yelled Pinky as she disappeared and popped back into view at Dash's side. Because you're my very, very, very best friend, and I said soon, and you said, See you later, party gator! said Pinky as she waved goodbye mockingly. She quickly disappeared and popped in below her dashed below her dashed time. That doesn't make any sense. Briefly lifting her up into Pinky's head. Rainbow Dash's eyes spun briefly from whipping around, following trying to follow Pinky's erratic movements. And 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 Twitch You lied to me growled Pinky as she popped out of view one last time, leaving Rainbow Dash hanging and spinning around slowly toward Rainbow Dash's eyes, widened in terror as her ears folded back against her head. Her re she renewed her struggles, but then only made her spin around faster. Oh, pony feathers, Rainbow Dash thought to herself. Pinky's really lost it. I hope others notice I'm not back soon, but will they even be able to find me? As Rainbow Dash spun slowly, she caught a glance of her reflection in a mirror across the room. Rainbow Dash shrieked at the sight. Her beautiful rainbow mane and tail were white, bleached, bone white. Before she could look any more, she was quickly grabbed and spun around back towards Pinky, where a familiar scene was set up. It was the creepy party of inanimate objects from before, except Rainbow Dash was hanging over the stool where the pile of rocks had sat before. Pinky dashed over the stool where the dust clump in the party was sat. Why, darling! said Pinky, badly imitating Rarity's voice as she shook the stool. Why, didn't you just tell anyone your hair color was just some, ugh, godly rainbow dye? Really, darling, rainbow? Rainbow Dash's mind raced as she tried to take in everything that was happening, unable to decide whether to be furious or terrified. Thanks to the fiasco with her mane, she settled on furious. 
and began struggling again. She noticed the stool underneath her. If she could just get a hoof on that, she thought, she'd have a chance. She thought on flailing wildly and screaming in rage through the apple. Given what she was trying to shout, it was probably a good thing that the apple was there. As Rainbow Dash struggled, Pinky was behind the flower bag across the table. Her voice did in a bad imitation of Fluttershy's. Oh, that pony is despicable. She's being such a rude party guest. Shink! The flower sack suddenly went limp and slowly drooped over the side of the table. A plastic cake knife was stabbed into its back, a trail of flour pouring out onto the ground. Rainbow Dash screamed through the apple once again, her mane and tail standing on end. Now, now, Fluttershy, said Pinky. Dashie wants to party! Pinky gestured happily, throwing confetti into the air. Rainbow Dash's eyes grew to the size of dinner plates. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Rainbow Dash thought to herself in panic. Okay, okay, stay cool, Rainbow Dash. You can, you can get out of this still, just... You have to play it cool. Pinky wants to party, so maybe if I humor her, she thought. Pinky glanced over at her, and she smiled as best as she could through the apple, beginning to dance in the air by shaking her hips and waving her hooves around, trying to look happy for Pinky, despite how scared she actually was. Pinky grinned at this. Oh, that's my tune coming on! Like so many other times when she randomly broke into song and dance, she began dancing to a song only she could hear. Plastic knife and hoof, Pinky giggled dementedly as she spun around. Twitch. She stopped just as suddenly as she started, and her expression changed dramatically, now looking extremely angry and annoyed. Her teeth gnashed as she talked in a strained voice. What's so funny, Dash? growled Pinky. Rainbow Dash squealed through the apple as Pinky yelled at her, and quickly stopped dancing, pulling her legs up. If she had been on the ground, she would have been curled up into a fetal position. <laughs> Muttered Rainbow Dash helplessly as she frantically pointed towards Pinky with one of her hooves. Suddenly, Rainbow Dash found Pinky right in her face with the same furious expression. Her nose pushed up against her own, eyeball to eyeball. Pinkie Pie reached up and... YANK! Pinky hastily pulled the caramel apple from Rainbow Dash's mouth, smiling happily once again. Oh, silly! You can't talk with your mouth full! giggled Pinky. Fluttershy here didn't have any manners either, and now she has a plastic cake knife in her back! said Pinky with a certain insane glee in her voice. Her expression and tone quickly swapped back to stern and forced. That's what happens when you don't have manners! Okie dokie, Dashy! Rainbow Dash had to choke back a cough from the sickly sweet caramel that still lingered in her mouth. She swallowed hard. I. Uh, no! I mean, yes! I, I mean, uh, Pinky, your parties are the best! You know I love your parties, right? Rainbow Dash blurted out desperately. Pinky's eyes leered at Rainbow Dash accusingly. Rainbow Dash could see her reflection in them clearly as Pinky's face housed a growing look of distrust. Then, a smile. Okie dokie, Dashy. Hey, he wants some cake? She asked. Rainbow Dash was quickly presented with a slice of wonderfully decorated, creamy, fluffy cake, held right under her nose. Do you want a bite? shouted Pinky. Rainbow Dash hesitated for a moment. Was the cake poisoned? Was it safe? It looked and smelled okay, she thought, but there was no way of telling for sure, especially with how off Pinkie Pie was. Rainbow Dash also knew that if she didn't act fast, it might prompt Pinky to do something even worse. She put on the biggest smile she could muster at the moment. I'd love some of your cake, Pinkie Pie. You always make the most uh, delicious cakes. She stretched her head out to try and take a bite of the cake Pinkie was holding up. Twitch! Silly! shouted Pinkie. That's Rarity's cake! Wham! Rainbow Dash got the plate of cake pushed right into her face, scrounging up her nose. Rainbow Dash coughed and choked, trying to clear the cake from her nostrils. Here, Rarity! yelled Pinky madly. Oh, I didn't... Let me try that again. Here, Rarity! yelled Pinky madly. She took 